Well, congratulations to Dr. Dream, finally picking up some Intercontinental Gold in our last match. But coming up next, George Alpine and Mark Fredericks go at these two competing in the Money in the Bank ladder match. George came out on top, Mark Fredericks just came up short. And, and the natural wants some payback on the MMA general. Next on Apocalypse. And here comes Mr. Money in the Bank. The following contest is an extreme submission match scheduled for one fall. The only way to win this contest is by making your opponent tap out. Introducing first from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in 227 pounds, George Alpine. George Alpine, the mixed martial arts general. Mr. Money in the Bank. He can cash that thing in whenever he wants. George Alpine won the Money in the Bank contract at Revolution 2. If I were CJ Hawkins or Big Cole Connect, depending on who wins tonight, I'd keep my eyes open. And again, knowing Georgie, he'll want to face him one on one. He won't sneak up on him. Hell, he may walk up to Duncan and say, I want my title shot. I'm going to kick your ass and make you tap out. That's George Alpine. He's the MMA general for a reason. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, the natural Mark Fredericks. Mark Fredericks, the natural. He's encountered George Alpine twice on the grand stage of Revolution. The first time was at Revolution 1, when he was on Team War against George Alpine's Team Fury. The last member, if I'm not mistaken, the last member of Team War to be eliminated when George Alpine made him tap out. Then, Mark Fredericks tried desperately at Revolution 2 to win the Money in the Bank contract, but Considering the fact that George Alpine's Mr. Money in the Bank, we can see how well that happened. Mark Fredericks is sick of George Alpine, and he wants to make him pay here tonight. And what a way to do it. An extreme rules match, where the only way to win is the way George Alpine knows how to beat you best. If Mark Fredericks can pull that off, he'll cement his name. We'll see if he can pull that off tonight. Well, here we go with this contest. George Alpine, Mark Fredericks, extreme submission match. Only way to win is by submission. There's no count outs. No disqualifications, anything goes, and there's also no pinfalls. Ooh, George Hopham with an impressive elbow counter right there. The Mark Fredericks going behind. What's he looking to do now? Ooh, European uppercut taking down the mixed martial arts general. Uh-oh, Georgie, another counter. Ooh, kick to the gut. Uh-oh, Irish whip counter. Mark Fredericks. Uh-oh, Georgie, DDT. Someone knows Jason Hawkburn, five cents. And there's a kick to the back. George Alpine in control of the natural for the time being. And this is the shot to the shoulder. Shots to the shoulder, neck, and head will definitely weaken Mark Fredericks to that anaconda vice. Uh oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Takedown from Mark Fredericks. George Alpine looking for the kick but missed. Mark Fredericks going behind now. But Georgie, a reversal. Swinging Mark off of him now. Pull back. No, Mark Fredericks. Oh, damn. That was a big elbow. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, there are no pinfalls in this contest. Mark can hit all the big time moves he can, but unless he can get. Ooh, neck break. Ah, from George Alpine. But unless he can get Georgie in a submission, this match is going to go for a while. Uh oh. But George Alpine with the first submission, a camel clutch. Mark Fredericks is in a world of trouble. He's got nowhere to go, Georgie. He's already may have this match won. No, George Alpine lets him out. 
Oh, and there's a kick to the gut. Oh, oh spine buster! George Alpine, that sit out spine buster he's known to use. And now Georgie's looking to get extreme. Here we go. Uh oh. Mark Fredericks, he took the cane away. But Georgie, reversal. Oh, and there's the shot to the gut. George Alpine was trained in many forms of martial arts. So a kendo stick actually kind of fits him. Georgie, look at this. Russian leg sweep with a kendo stick. Shades of the Sandman right there, ladies and gentlemen. What's Georgie looking to do now? Ooh, shot to the head. That's got to be it for Mark Fredericks. A natural, maybe out cold. Georgie, he's climbing up. Uh-oh, wait a minute, blockbuster. Wow. Georgie, air, alpine, elbow drop. Now the end may be near for the natural. Georgie, he's got him. Slams him down. And the Anaconda Vice is locked in. Mark Fredericks, he's fighting back with everything he's got. He's fighting it. I can't believe the resiliency of the natural. George Alpine forced to let go. Mark Fredericks is struggling way too much. Oh. And there's the elbow. Looks like he just grazed George Alpine. Hurt Mark Fredericks more. Definitely feeling the pain off the Anaconda Vice. But Mark Fredericks with a drop kick. The natural still knows many ways to fight back. Mark Fredericks. Looks like he's got a chair, but here comes Georgie. Mark Fredericks. Whoa! That's what they call it, a suicide dive. Mark Fredericks propping the chair up after scrambling back in the ring. George Alpine took the majority of the punishment off that dive. Georgie looks like he's got something planned, but Mark Fredericks, he's got a trash can now. Well, that's why they call it the extreme submission match, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. Georgie, ooh! Jumping heel kick to the face. George Alpine in complete control of Mark Fredericks. Now he's got that trash can. He's looking to do something with it. Mark Fredericks, he takes it away, but he sets it down. He's got something planned. That, ooh, kick to the gut. And another one. But George Alpine, he fights his way back in. And a jawbreaker to the natural. George Alpine, what's he looking to do here? Uh-oh. Tiger bomb! A double arm sit-out power bomb. Also known as a tiger bomb. Ooh, reverse DDT from George Alpine. He's fighting his way back into this. Now Georgie throwing those shots. Boom! Shot to the face. Backhand to the face from George Alpine. He's been known to do that a lot. And look at this, Georgie. Into the clutch. And a clothesline. Hooking the arm with the clothesline. George Alpine in complete control. Ooh. Just throwing that trash can right down on Mark Fredericks. But Mark, he's fighting his way back into this. Ooh. Missing the clothesline there. Georgie. Tossing Mark into the opposite corner. Uh-oh. Mark Fredericks is up on the top rope. This can't be good. Whoa! Super Hurricane Rana off the top rope. George Alpine in a world of control. Uh-oh, but there's the counter. Mark Fredericks now back in control. But Georgie, he pushes Mark off. He's got him. Sit out, Spine Buster. That is vintage George Alpine, ladies and gentlemen. Georgie, Irish open the, oh, chair off, head off the chair, ouch. The skull must be cracked, and now the Anaconda Vice one more time. Mark Fredericks taps out. George Alpine is still as dominant as ever here in phase three. Leave it to Georgie to pick up an impressive win against the natural, a dominant win at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed looking at a future world champion, and not just because he's got the money in the bank, but because he's got the talent to earn it.
Here is your winner, George Alpine. C.J. Hawkins better be on notice. The mixed martial arts general is dominant. He's full of energy, and most importantly, he's got momentum.